Hello, this is James. I'm going to show you today uh, some of the basics of how to use the new custom page headers feature in Creo Pro. The custom page headers feature will allow you to create uh, unique page headers and place them in different areas of your site on different pages, posts, uh, shop pages, things like that. And we'll allow you to use the uh, drag and drop features from Post and Page Builder to create uh, page headers exactly how you want them. So to start, you're going to go to Creo and go to Page Headers. Uh, when you first activate the plugin or upgrade to the newest version of the plugin, if you already have it, uh, you're not going to see these yet. Instead, you're going to have a notification up here uh, giving you the option to uh, install the sample headers if you want to. Um, I'm not going to go into the sample headers right now. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to create a real basic one to get started. So you're going to click on Add New. And we're just going to give this a title here, this header. All right, I'm going to create a really basic layout similar to the one that is in um, the starter content for Creo. So I'm going to add the logo here. And it's going to default to the site logo that you have configured for your site. But you can also set an alternate logo and upload it here and use it if you wish, but we're going to use the default site logo. Once you've done this, I'm going to slide the column width for it here so it only takes up a portion of the header. So we can add the navigation menu in here. So you have to give it a name in order to register it with the uh, WordPress system and make sure that it's accessible to the site. We select the menu and we're going to right align it. Right now, I'm going to get rid of some extra stuff that was put in here and then we're going to center align it here. And uh, you have a very basic header, like I said, similar to what you would have in the uh, starter content for Creo. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go into details as far as how to further customize the menu appearance and how to set the location of the header in various uh, places on your site. Thank you for watching.